Hello everybody, uh, this is Joe. Um, people have seen my YouTube videos on marathons, ultramarathon training. Um, I do some other stuff. But I did post something on the Mavic Forum the other day. Uh, the Mavic Forum in relation to the modification for the RC controller for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did. Um, it's not any different, majorly different than what other people have done for the mod. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you what I did that was unique. Um, and it just works for me. So uh, give me a second, let me bring it out, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, here's the, um, here's what I did with it for the external antennas. Um, so basically I'm not going to tear the whole thing open and show everybody because there's plenty of videos on how to do that. But in case anybody hasn't seen it, there's two screws, um, one on underneath here. So you got to actually go inside that with those little holes to take that out and the one over here as well. They're very teeny, so just use a very small Jewish screwdriver and don't lose them. Um, the other two are behind where you put in the, um, the joystick holder. You gotta pop that out and take those other two screws out. Plenty of YouTube videos on how to do that though. So what I did though that was a little bit different is I didn't wanna put two big holes into the case itself. Because another, I didn't really care about that, but I wanted to keep the internal antennas installed. So what I did is I just cut the two little small holes. Um, you can see right here. Just use a needle file. Made two little small holes and snaked it through. And then for the bracket, um, I used Kydex for the bracket just because I had some on hand. Kydex is used, um, Kydex is used for a lot of things like uh, holsters and uh, things like that. But it's easily bendable. You can cut it with a knife, you can use a saw to cut it, and just heat it up, bend it to where you want it to go. It works nice, it's nice and light, it's flexible, weather resistant. So that's why I went with that. Okay. Um, by the way, this is the second thing I did. Uh, I put this on the forum as well. It's a lanyard. I didn't feel like spending 19 bucks to have somebody make this for me, so I just got a hacksaw blade, cut that apart, bent it, drilled three holes, and used an old lanyard. It works great. So, as far as this itself, to take it apart, all you have to do is just unscrew the antennas. By the way, somebody did note it's a good idea to put 50 ohm terminators on these when you get done, dummy loads. Because what'll happen is, um, what'll happen is if you take these off and you forget to put the dummy loads on and turn it on, I don't know if there's any protection circuitry built into the DJI itself um, for any um, reflected power. So it's not a bad thing to do. So I have a couple of those that I'm gonna put on normally. And then you just pop that off. and just go store it. Matter of fact, there's still room to put your joysticks in there too. Well, and you know, that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. Um, I'm really happy the way it came out. Um, like I said, the reason why I went this route is because I plan on I like modifying things and playing with things. So I'm going to do more modifications later. And I wanna go back to the baseline antennas if I ever need to use them for a test. Uh, or if things go, you know, if things break, I drop the thing, I wanna make sure it's still working. I'm gonna make a little RF switch. I know it's kind of overkill, but the RF switch, I can switch back and forth between the two antennas. Just more for the cool factor than anything else. <laughs> and I got nothing else to do. I'm retired, so. Um, the last thing I was gonna show you guys is, I actually designed this so it fits into the Simic. By the way, I love this case. Uh, fits into a Simic case really easily. Um, once you take the, let's see. So once you take the back off, it fits right in here. And that shuts right down. I mean, you take the joysticks off obviously. But this is actually the right height. So when I close this, 
it actually doesn't crush it. Um, there's a little slot down here at the beginning. It makes it even go down further, but that's all you need to do. Pop it out. Snap it back on and put your two antennas back on. You're done. Well, if anybody wants to do the modification, just research on YouTube, find out how, watch somebody actually open up the case, um, where the antenna jacks are. Um, I mean, it's really super simple. You can knock it out in 15 minutes if you really want to. And it costs anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks for antennas. Um, I have personally found out it has really given me much better reception. I don't care about going three or four miles. I care about if I'm flying through woods, if I have obstructions, this is really helping me out a lot more. Um, I fly this one route for my test route and I was doing 3,600 feet max. Um, there's so much interference here in San Antonio, it wasn't help working at all. I did the same test several times with both antennas. So it's pretty consistent with the internal antennas, 36 feet on the same route is consistent. And with these antennas, um, I was, I'm getting 4,600 to 5,200 feet easily. Um, so it makes a difference for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a really short one. Um, like I said, I like to tinker, as you can see, anywhere from electronics to woodworking to pets. It's my cat, Cyan. Okay. Peace, everybody, and thanks for watching.